Hi everyone, um, so looking at module six here, as we know with COVID, a lot of things have been changing and that's even been especially true in the events world. So some of the main like new behavioral trends that I've found, um, well, the first one is the switch to hybrid events. The second one is more of data analytics when looking at events for event, event planners. And the third one is the rise of internal events. So with hybrid events, it's even as simple as the Zoom meeting we had the other day with um, Void Gaming when we were all in person, but the speaker was attending, you know, via Zoom. So those are becoming more and more popular because, yes, people like want to have experiences with each other and be in the same places with each other, but sometimes it's just so much more convenient if you can't make it to be able to have an online um, presence as well which, you know, COVID kind of helped out with there too, just finding out how simple it really was. The second one is the use of more event data analytics. Um, event planners want to go based off of data to make sure that they can improve their events in the future and only make it better for um, the people that they are planning them for. So I definitely have experienced this in my, um, in my past because when I was working at my internship this past summer, um, even like the days of the events, like the UCI Mountain Bike World Cup would be like a week long. And even after day one, we were going straight to the data and looking, okay, how many riders have signed up? How many spectators have showed up? How many more do we have to expect to come on down to the pit area? Stuff like that. Um, it just, it keeps everyone informed and it's a lot easier to know what to expect when you're able to look at that data. Um, and then the third one was the rise of internal events. I also think this is a main thing to do with COVID because um, as people, you know, moved into their remote offices and everything, like people weren't getting that same interaction with their coworkers. And I think after COVID, it's really important to push as a company, like the family aspect and the, like, the work environment of, you know, your job. And because the closer you are with your team, the better you're gonna perform together. Again, at Snowshoe, we did some similar stuff. Um, we held the Pride Olympics at one point, um, which was an event, but the events team didn't put it on. It was actually the Human Resources Department that did this, since the goal was to get everyone together from the mountain and like get everyone bonding, which it really did help. My team won, so go events. But um, we were able to, I met so many people that I hadn't met from the mountain that I had just seen around. And so that was a really good opportunity for me to I make some new memories with these people and talk to them. And so when I did see them on the mountain afterwards, you know, just a little wave and like remembering those things that you have done together.